It's Trish and Haley. We're still in Newport, Oregon. We've been loading gear onto the research vessel Atlantis for our upcoming expedition. One of the things we've been talking a lot about this week is the fact that the um, NOAA docks here in Newport, Oregon are in a tsunami inundation zone. And if there happens to be a large earthquake, we would be at risk of potentially um, suffering from a tsunami. So. All of Oregon coastline is part of the Cascadian subduction zone and they do have historically very large earthquakes and there's a lot of um, geological evidence of very large tsunamis that have hit the region. So Haley, if there's a large earthquake, what are we supposed to do? Well, if there's a large earthquake and it's one of those that are going to be associated with the subduction zone, you would expect for it to last several minutes. So the first thing that you need to do when you feel any kind of an earthquake happening is you need to find your way to some stable object, let's say a table or something. You need to cover your head and make sure you're holding on so that you are not being prone to any falling objects. Nothing's going to hit you and knock you out so you're unconscious when, you, when the tsunami waves actually hit. You've <laughs> got to be able to make it to the hill. So we've got this nice diagram behind us and they say the very first step is to drop, cover, and hold on during the shaking. It can last several minutes, but once that's over, you need to make your way to the higher ground. So, they have these signs all over the coastline here. They look like that. Um, and we're gonna follow these signs to get us to higher ground. Yeah, so we were talking to some of the scientists here and they said that if a large earthquake hits the subduction zone nearby, you'd have about 20 or 30 minutes. So coming from the ship, we're about a maybe five, seven minute walk from the ship right now. And we're now gonna make the trek up to the rest of the way to the high ground, so. All right, Haley, why don't you lead the way? All right. We're at the top of the hill. We made it. We are. So we're at an elevation of 85 feet right now, where in which we'll be safe from the tsunami waves. But something that Trish and I were really surprised to read is that we have to stay here for 24 hours. Yeah. So the aftershocks, so even if there is one tsunami, there could be additional tsunamis generated by the aftershocks. Mm -hmm. Also, if the entire region below us is inundated, there may not be a safe way to get back off because we are going to pretty much be on an island surrounded by this tidal surge from the tsunami. So it could take a long time for rescue workers to get people off. Um, but if you're stuck here for 24 hours, over there is a container filled with supplies, um, a generator, and it looks like they have some lights up here, though power would probably be off. Yeah. But... It's nice to know. We also read that they that this particular safe haven island can hold um, over a thousand people, and they um, have enough supplies to maintain this area and keep people safe until um, safety workers, um, emergency workers, can come up and right. get them. So, kind of amazing. Tsunami hazards in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. So now it's important to be very aware of the hazards that you may face when you travel to these different locations. Hazards don't wait just because you're on vacation. Yes, they don't. That is the, that's the tagline. But yeah, keep an eye out for those tsunami evacuation routes and 
you know, it was actually a pretty pleasant hike up here and, and the view is not bad. So I feel like we're super prepared for next time we're here in Newport to figure yeah. out our, our safety evacuation route. And even though it said six minutes, it took us about a minute and a half to get up here. So maybe if you're carrying stuff and helping people, it'll take yeah. you longer, but yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. Lesson learned. After running in the rain, I can report that I could not outrun a tsunami. Yes, you can. <laughs> it is, it's raining now. It was really pretty for like three minutes. Totally worth it. Yeah, the rainbow's gone now though.